In this video, I'm gonna take a look at these LumiCube LED lights. They are really bright. Hi guys, my name is Matti Sulanto. I'm a photographer and a Lumix ambassador based in Helsinki, Finland. And in this video, I'm gonna take a look at these LumiCube LED lights. But before I even begin, here's a disclaimer. I don't own these lights, I didn't buy these, these are on loan from Focus Nordic. And they did not ask me to make a video and I'm not getting paid to make this video. I make this video and all my videos just to share my experiences with you guys. And I don't get to keep these lights, I have to return these uh, eventually. Now that we got that out of the way, let's talk about the light itself or the lights. I have two of these. This is essentially an aluminum cube that has a powerful LED light inside and also a built-in battery. And you can buy just one of these. It comes with a couple of uh, uh, filters and light diffuser and a hot shoe mount and uh, the charging cable. But then you can also buy a kit that has two of these. Like I do, I have the kit. And the kit includes uh, some more light modifiers, diffusers, barn doors, snoots, and a couple of these uh, filter holders and um, all kinds of stuff. And I think the kit makes uh, sense because I think it's a good idea to have two similar lights, whether you uh, do, uh, using these for video or photography. Those filters and light modifiers attach with a magnet, which is really handy. And you can also stack those filters if you like. I only wish they uh, included a couple of empty filter holders so you could cut your own gelatin filters and put them into those empty filter holders. Those holders could uh, work uh, like uh, an old-fashioned uh, color slide uh, mounts or frames and that would be a really nice uh, extra feature. And if someone from LumiCube is watching this, feel free to use this idea. I won't charge you anything for it if you haven't figured this out yourself already. And the whole kit comes in a very neat uh, small case that has a, a, a foam insert with a slot for everything. And there's a small like a pocket um, on, the, on the inside of the lid where you can put the uh, charging cables and some other small accessories if you have them. The build quality is really really high like i already said it's made of aluminum and it's weather sealed and it's actually waterproof up to 10 meters or about 30 feet and i would say all in all that the build quality is pretty much pro grade on one side of the cube there's a quarter an inch standard uh, thread that you can used to mount this light on a light stand, for example. And the feature set is pretty comprehensive, especially when you consider the tiny size of this thing. The LED light is 5600 kelvins and it's fixed. You can't change the color temperature of the light itself. You have to use filters if you need to change the color. But it's daylight, so I think it's a good starting point. Obviously you get the continuous light out of this, but you can also get a strobe effect and you can also use this as a flash. But I have to say I didn't uh, quite understand the flash feature or function because it's not like a real flash anyway. But I guess it can be useful in some situation for someone else. And there's also a phone app that you can use to control these remotely and that is really cool because these are so tiny you can place these almost anywhere and um, if you place this somewhere where it's not easily accessible you can use the app to control the light output or the, the light mode whether you want the flash or strobe or whatever. And if you've been watching this channel before, you've seen this uh, lighting the background in many of my videos. And it's also easy for me when I'm doing this alone. When I have the lights in the background, I just use the app. I 
uh, look at the camera monitor and use the app to adjust the light output the way I want it. It's really, really easy and convenient. And you can also use the app to take pictures. And it's handy because you can control the lights in the same app. However, I didn't find the app that good as a camera app and there are much better camera apps out there. Uh, and you can still use these lights with any camera app because they give continuous light. The quality of the light is quite nice. First of all, there's only one big LED here, so it makes clean shadows, not those uh, like multiple shadows that you sometimes get if there are many small LED lights um, making one big light. And the manufacturer claims that the CRI rating is 95. CRI means color rendering index and the maximum is 100. And 95 is really good and um, at least I don't have a color meter but at least when I shot some video and pictures with these I don't see any like uh, spikes um, at certain point of the color spectrum. So um, I'd say the light quality is pretty good. I think the most obvious use for this is um, in video. You can use this to uh, make some accent uh, colors or background lights like I was, I've been using um, in my videos, but you can also use this as main lights as long as you don't have to put this too far away from your subject. These are quite powerful but you can't light any like really big subject or group or anything like that uh, with these lights. But these are okay for maybe for an interview or something, even as a key light if you don't have anything else. Like I've already said, and if you've been watching this channel, you've seen that I've been using this um, in the background of my videos many, many times, but I've also been shooting some photos using these lights and for this video I made this uh, flower picture I was light painting and I used the um, live um, live comp feature on my G90 and I also made this uh, self portrait of me and uh, my key light was one of these behind an umbrella and uh, I also lit the background with another one and um, I was able to use f1.4, 1 25th of a second, ISO 200. And this light was at maximum power, but it was behind an umbrella. And that umbrella takes uh, at least a stop and a half uh, of the light. So I think all in all the power output is uh, pretty decent considering the size of this thing. And the battery life is pretty impressive too, when you consider this really small size. At full power, without the remote control, I got about an hour and 15 minutes at full power. I think it's really, really impressive. However, with the remote control, which uses Bluetooth, uh, the battery life is considerably shorter and I got about 50 minutes uh, with the remote control activated. But it's still quite good, I think, when you really, really think about the extremely small size of this. And the light output is uh, uh, quite decent. And those numbers are at full power output. If you're using this um, in the background, like I've been using in my videos, you're at the maybe 30%, 50% or so. Uh, uh, power so the battery life is a lot longer of course. You can use any USB-C charger to charge the lights which is also kind of convenient. So in my opinion these are high quality small lights to be used either in photography or video. If you buy one of these the price is around 80 euros or US dollars. And the kit that I've been using is around 160 euros or US dollars. But with the kit you get some extra light modifiers and uh, some other stuff kind of for free. So these are not exactly the cheapest lights. There are many LED lights that are a lot cheaper than these Lumicubes. However, I think the high quality of these and the 
the weatherproofness and everything is worth their extra money. And I, I think these are probably going to last a long time, even in uh, heavy duty use. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you again in the next one.